Hello, this is H.E. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Radiant Historia! Perfect chronology. I have patience problems, so let's go to the Alma Mine and, well, try to meet up with the spy that way. He was there on the other timeline, so maybe that applies here, too. If that is the same spy. There's no telling when the agent will be here. It's possible he's run into trouble. We should head to Alma Mine. Yeah, maybe. Exactly. Hmm. It is rather worrying. Yeah, we have been here for a while. All right. I'll go along with whatever you say, Stock. Maybe, you know, the spy got caught or something. Then come on. Let's go. The sooner the better. What's the worst that could possibly happen? What the? Oh, my mind is on fire? Bounce. I like Marco's angry face. <laughs> Even though he's not exactly angry, but... Well, that is his angry face. <laughs> I had no idea the fight was this bad. What's going on, Mark? It's a war! What did you expect? Uh, I don't know. We can hardly meet the agent in the middle of all this. What should we do, Stock? It's too late to get to Granord by any other route. Let's join the Alistel army and break through here. Got it. Well, yeah, I mean, they did say there was a path between Grand Org and Alistel here. Come on, guys. Uh-oh. Well, you know what this means, viewers. What do you mean? We kicked their ass. What about the Max and the Thaum attack and everything we got? Nice. Well, that didn't go as planned in more ways than one. Turn stuck. And getting deja vu here. Despite Granorg's loss at Alma Mine, they seem to have become even stronger as a military with Queen Protea at the center. How was Queen Protea able to accomplish this? Maybe she's the holder of the Black Chronicle. And what can you do at Granorg? These things are yet to be revealed in the shadows of your choices. Will we find out next time? Just in case. Spoiler alert! No! But I don't mean to save. Let's just uh, keep going from here. And, okay, so you got a bad ending. We can just go right back to the... Well, the decision point where we were before. So we can just skip past the dialogue and the cutscenes with the start button, get right back to where we were, and let's try the other option. I almost chose the same option again. Well, gotta stick to orders. Let's wait a little while longer. This is the location he specified. Even if we run into him at Alma Mine, he might not accept us as fellow agents. Oh, yeah, that might be. Remember, we left behind anything that might blow our cover. Besides our weapons and the signature red garb. But other than that... Yeah, well, if you say so. New plan! Keep waiting! <laughs> I just like the way she says that, like she's... Frustrated and just being sarcastic. Yeah, let's wait some more. Good idea. You only ever listen to stock. <laughs> so, or are you suddenly against this, Mark? That's not what I meant. Yes. Hey. Who's there? <laughs> Oh, yeah, I kind of noticed. Oh. Hmm? Have we? Not on this timeline. I don't think so. But that aside, tell us what you've learned. Indeed. Nuts. How did they get it back so fast? No. Then how are we supposed to get to Granorg? Wait. What about Alma Mine? 
I've heard there's a path through it. Well, yeah, it is a mine. What do you mean? Sorry if I'm going through the text a little quickly there. What? Then what do we do? Launch a half-scale attack? If the Sand Fortress and Alma Mine are both out, how else do we get to Grand Orc? Put one foot in front of the other and you move. Yes. How do you do that? It's a fortress. Um, yeah, that's probably true. Shouldn't they really be guarding it very well? Oh. Yes. Well, yeah, I wouldn't want to run into him again. <laughs> well, yeah, we are spies. Understood. You're right. The Sand Fortress is the slightly better option. We'll go through there on our way to Grand Orc. Tell Heiss. Yes. Well, at least he'll get back safely. How many agents do we got around here, anyhow? Farewell. Besides, if he's already in Grand Orc, why not let him do whatever mission we need? But all right. Okay, well, let's see. Oh yeah, one thing I wanted to mention, how the spy there kind of knew us. That is one thing about this game that you're just supposed to accept as true. That because we met them on the other timeline, even though they haven't experienced the same history that we do, they have sort of an impression or something left over from that. So that's just something to keep in mind there. Hmm. You know, before going up upwards, or, well, actually, yeah, let's just keep going. Whoa! What's going on? Man, they just got save points all over the place, don't they? Well, something important's happening. But all right, yeah. Like I was about to do. Yeah, let's heal up here. Get everyone up to max. Yeah, we'll just use our healing items there. Try to conserve our MP a little bit. Although, maybe I didn't really need to. But, like I said, we'll never run out. So, and... Yeah, let's make a backup save here before moving onward. Yes. Yeah. We do have to go this way. Huh. Hey, how's it going? Uh. Ha ha. Uh, uh, but. Whoa. <laughs> How bad could he possibly be? Have I heard that name? Bram before? Bro. End of the line, you two. Hey! This isn't really part of our mission, but oh. we'll help the poor guy out anyway. I'm a spy, not a soldier. Sure, why not? Bro. How hard could they possibly be? Loud and clear. Starts. Aww. But yeah, these guys are the desert crows that we've been hearing about. For boss time. 
And this is actually one of the more difficult boss fights in the game, in my opinion, because I have I don't have very good levels because I've been well, keeping myself a bit under leveled here. So one of the important things to do here is to get both enemies in the back row there as quickly as possible. Now, the reason why I'm doing it in this order here is if I push Bram into Hertz and either push them left or just let them alone, Bram would pop out in the middle and he would be dealing more damage to us. So you want to watch out for that. But all right, yeah, uh, for this fight, I want to try keeping everyone above 100 HP, at, at least 100 HP, so they won't be able to kill us. But these guys can deal a lot of damage to us if you're not careful and you don't keep them in the back row there. But as long as you stay like this, you should be good there. And yeah, that'll be fine. Ow. Okay, so basically just keep on going with Left Assault Thunder and have Marco... Just stick to healing full time. Um, yeah, let's go with that. This will do the trick. Yeah, I don't want to take a chance here. Oh, I was expecting Bram to get another turn, but okay. Let's see. Hmm, we're doing pretty good on HP. Maybe I should just defend instead of. No, no, that would be a problem. Wait, no, I don't want you to use Thunder. I want Stock to uh, use Left Assault and then go with Thunder. Okay, well, Marco is going to be vulnerable no matter what I do. Well, unless I defend with him or attack. Okay, I have options, but let's see. Hmm. Let's have you go like that, so that way I can heal between their attacks a little bit. Okay, now when, yeah, when Bram uses Kiai there, let's see. Yeah, you can see, if you press the X button, you can see the buffs on the enemies there. And, yeah, his attack is boosted. He's going to deal a lot more damage. So, if I can, I would like to try and keep my party members above 150 HP, if I can. So, even though it looks like it's not very much, hmm. Actually, you know what? Let's do this a different way. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, let's heal Rainy, and then have Rainy switch with Bram there. And I'm healing Rainy instead of Marco, because Rainy is going to be vulnerable there for their next attack, and she would take more damage as a result there. So let's see, we can go with that, and... Yeah, Hertz isn't actually a huge problem. He can try to lower your defense, I think, with one of his abilities, but it's nothing that I'm extraordinarily concerned about. Okay, so let's heal, uh, stack there. Yeah, we should be good. Yeah, just, uh, take it easy. Just a little bit at a time there. Don't, don't go crazy. Now, even though Marco is vulnerable there after or later in the turn order, he's not going to be vulnerable when they get their next attack. Ow! Hmm, that could be a problem. I might need to use a first aid kit to guarantee stock survival. What's your max HP, anyway? Let me see. Oh, okay, I guess I can't see that right now. Hmm. Do I... Yeah, I, well... Yeah, I'm gonna use a first Appreciate aid kit. It. This is a fairly yeah. tough boss fight. So, it's, it's worth it. But yeah, the only reason it's really tough compared to the original version of the game especially, is because we just don't have the levels or the armor or the money to buy better armor, so we're screwed six ways from Sunday. Let's see now. If I get Rainy a turn... Let's see. Okay, that debuff didn't work. Hmm, I think Rainy should be able to finish off Bram there, so... Yeah, let's go with that. Ha-ha! Got it. Okay, now the rest of this fight will be much, much easier. Hmm. You know what? Let's uh, switch with Marco there. Okay, we're fine. 
and let's see. Okay, yeah. Heal yourself up. And then now, at this point, let's bring Hertz to the front. He's not going to be dealing that much damage to us anyway. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's go Thunder, a regular attack, and then a Power Wave to boost the combo level as much as we Here can. Goes. And we got him! All right! Oh, that was a yeah, that was one. pretty tough the first time I was going through this. And I was trying to, like, reduce the number of encounters that I was fighting. And I needed a way of beating them at relatively low levels. You might also notice that these guys give a lot of money. That's a thing with bosses. They drop a lot more than the regular enemies do. Damn it all! Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, that sounds like an expression I would use. Hey. Stock. Don't give them your real name. Huh. Hearts. Loud and clear. <laughs> now you're just talking crazy, Hertz. <laughs> <sighs> what an annoying duo. But at least we got the job done. Yeah, I lost that first aid kit, but it was worth it. Hello. Well, it could have been worth it. They didn't attack stock again immediately, but you know what I mean. I think nothing of it. We were just passing by. My name is Tarkin. Hey, how's it going? You know where the Death Star is? No, nah. no, nah, that's he's not in this. With supplies for the Alistel army. Oh, yeah. That's correct. There was that, uh, well, that was in the other timeline. I suppose things haven't gotten too different between the two timelines yet. Oh, okay. Explosives, huh? Oh? Oh? Yeah, sure, why not? How hard can it be? You light a match and boom! Maybe you're right. Let's hear it. Bombs, huh? Sounds like fun. <laughs> I just I, I like how Rainy Sid says that line. <laughs> That's correct. Kind of caught me off guard a little bit there. I see. That's interesting. That's correct. Hmm, I don't remember that. Well, for right now, we're going to be putting it to you soon. But alright, just like we got super strength and the strike ability, we get a bomber ability now. Sounds easy enough. Oh, yeah, you will take damage there, so yeah, watch out for that. What about it? Ah. So what do we do? Uh, can we do something on the touch screen? I think we can. Way to go, Stock. That's a good skill to have. But it's not really my style, you know? Oh, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Everyone's inept at something or another. Oh, um, yeah. What's that supposed to mean? Just too lazy to memorize those instructions, that's all. <laughs> it's not like I couldn't do it. Got that? Calm down. Mm, yes. Hmm, I'll remember that for later, viewers. Way later in the game. We'll see what we can do. Let's go. If we head west, we can cross the Lasville Hills. So, yeah, even though we are in the other timeline now, since we've saved the bomb merchant, now we could go back to the other timeline and the bombs will somehow get there. I'm 
Not really sure how that works logistically, but it works. So yeah, you could go back to the other timeline now if you wanted to. And also, I would have imagined in the previous episode, you would have gotten stuck if you didn't meet the merchant at Alma Mine. Or not the merchant, the spy at Alma Mine, because he may not have gotten here yet or something or other. So you're going to have to hop back and forth between the two timelines that, like that periodically. But for now, I'm going to stay in this timeline. And now that we got that bomber skill, oh, I'm surprised that uh, box is out of the way still. <laughs> but yeah, now that we've got that bomber skill, we can put that to use. So let's see what we can do here. Okay, so yeah, just like with the crates, we can move these barrels out of the way. And let's see, let's get that over there. Prime it, get out of the way. Boom! And let's see, where are we? But all right, yeah, we can get some other items that we couldn't get before. I figured we might as well get these as long as we're in the area. Let's see, we got this here, so let's put that to use. Oh, hey, there's that soldier that was there before. Ooh, we got a pretty good accessory there. Breeze armlet, that boosts your speed a little bit there. And I want to give that to Marco, being the healer, being faster than enemies would be helpful for him there. I'm not really counting on him for damage much anyway. Oh, not. Well, too late for that. Hmm, but remember that for, well, not later, but before. So yeah, we could go back to before this guy died and got trapped here. We could do that right now, but I'm going to save that for later when it would be more convenient. I don't want to leave the timeline right now. But I do want to go I won't lose. back to the start of the area because there's another barrel over there that... Whoa! Don't let your guard down. <laughs> yeah, there was another barrel back there that we can use. But yeah, I'm not gonna fight more of those guys. Let's see, let's stun yes. the chicken here. The rooster, whichever one it is. And, okay, that. Haha! -ha. We can't do a whole lot over here right now. But we can find a hidden treasure. That's another uh, MP restoration item there. And yeah, that's everything we can do over there for now. Let's see, can I even go back still? Might not be a bad idea to rest up at Alistair, but well, I'll think about, uh, well, what I want to do. But can we find a way to break into the Sand Fortress? Find out next time on Let's Play Radiant Historia Perfect Chronology. This is Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!